Hey guys, welcome to your next PHP front to back video. In this video, we're going to be looking at PHP sessions. So sessions are a way to carry information or data across multiple pages. I'm sure you know by now that if we set a variable on one page, it's not going to be accessible on the next. Okay, that's where sessions come in. Now, unlike cookies, session data is not stored on the user's computer. It's stored on the server. Okay, we'll also be looking at cookies later on. So let's jump right in here. I have my PHP sandbox folder open here. I'm going to just create a new folder and let's just call this website four. And we're going to have a few pages here. I'm going to create one and call it page one dot PHP. All right. Now you can set session variables however you want, but I'm just going to put a form here that we can submit and then we'll save the, the values to a session. OK, so let's just put in some standard HTML tags. And let's put a form down here. I'm just going to grab it and paste it in. One second. All right, so we have a form. It has the method of post. We've gone over all of this. The action I set to server PHP self. So it's going to get submitted to this file. We have a name field and an email field. OK, so let's go up here. And let's catch this form submission. OK, so I'm just going to say uh, if is set and we want to look at post submit because I gave the, the submit button a name so we can check for that and then let's just test it out by just saying echo one two three. All right, so I'm going to go to localhost PHP sandbox slash website four slash page one dot PHP. OK, so there's our form. If I submit it, it's going to echo out one, two, three. So what we're going to do is catch the values and put them into session variables. Now, in order to work with session variables, you have to start a session on every pa every page that you want to use that data. You have to do session start. All right, so let's do session underscore start. And that will start the session. All right, and then we're going to just um, set a session variable using the session super global and let's set name and then I'm going to set it to our post name value all right and just to make it a little more secure we'll use HTML entities around that all right and then we'll do the same thing for the email so just copy that and let's set that to email All right, so it's taking the post values and putting them into session variables. Now, I also want to redirect to a new page, and I don't think we've gone over this yet, but there's a function called header, and that will allow us to redirect from PHP. Okay, so what we have to do is say header, and then in here we want to say location, colon, and then whatever page or, or link we want to go to. So I'm going to say page2.php. All right, so let's save that and then we're going to go and create page two. And then I'm just going to put some HTML tags in here. And let's just put uh, actually we'll go up here first and put the PHP in. OK, and then what I'm going to do is again say session start. And then we're going to set name equal to the session variable name and same with email okay and then down here we'll do a little message so let's just put in h5 and i'll say thank you and then we'll just want to echo out the name. And then we'll just say you have, uh, we'll say subscribed uh, with the email and then we'll echo out the email. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And I'm just going to reset this page one and let's just put something in here. We'll just put my name 
and for the email I'm just going to say test at test.com and let's submit and we get thank you Brad Travers your email your you have subscribed with email test at test.com so we carried the variables over to this page and if we reload this without making the post request you'll see it's still there it's it's stored in the session so what I'm going to do now is put a link down here and let's set this to go to page 3.php. All right, and I'll just say go to page 3. Oops. Okay, and then we'll create page 3. And in here, let's uh, again we'll set a name variable. I'll just grab it from here. Now I want to show you what happens if we don't use session start. All right, so let's just put a um, we'll just put an H1 here, and let's just say hello name. All right, so let's save that, and then. If we reload this, we go to page three, you'll see we get this undefined variable session. Okay, it's doing that because we didn't include session start. So let's do that up here. And reload. And now we get hello, Brad Traversy. Okay, so make sure that you always put this at the top. Um, a lot of times you could you put this in a uh, some kind of configuration file and then you'll just include that at the top of each page that you want the sessions. Now we can change these uh, anytime we want. So if we go to page two and right here we say uh, session name and we set that equal to John Doe and then let's go back to page two and you can see it says thank you John Doe and if I go to page three that that variable has been changed alright so you can update it at any time okay and if you want to see what's in the session array you can simply use a print R statement so let's go to page three and then we're just gonna uh, let's let's do print underscore R and let's take a look at session reload and you'll see that it gives us the array with the values inside. Now, if you want to unset one of these, you can use session unset. So let's go ahead and create a page four. And then in here, let's put our PHP tag. And then we'll do session start. And if we just want to unset one value, let's say the name, then we use unset just unset and pass in session name okay so let's save that and then we're gonna run page four okay no output but let's go back to page three and now you'll see that we get undefined index name the email still there but we just un unset the name okay so if we wanted to get rid of this error what we could do is go to page three and right here let's say is set wrap that we we'll use ternary and we'll say session name okay if it's if this is set then we want to put this inside of the name variable and then if not okay if not then um, I guess we'll just say guest all right so we'll reload and now we get hello guest because there's no session name now if you want to completely destroy the session you can do that with session destroy so let's go back to page four we'll comment that out and then let's say session uh, whoops, session destroy okay so we'll go to page four and now if we go back to page three you can see that we now have undefined index email because there's nothing in the session array. And again, if we wanted to get rid of that error, we could do the same thing.
and for this we just say something like not subscribed all right so reload and the error is gone all right so that's going to do it for sessions they're pretty easy just you just need to remember to do this session start and um, and do that on every page that you want to use sessions on all right so that's going to be it for this video guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one